During the height of the third age of video game consoles, Nintendo claimed supreme dominion of the entire industry. So great became their hubris, they sought not only mastery of video games, but all media. Cartoons, comic books, television shows, all would be captured and imprisoned in an eternal shackle of gray plastic. No medium fell victim to this foul sorcery more than moving pictures, but the process was faulty. <gasps> the rituals corrupt. Instead of a perfect hybrid between film and game, the results were instead malformed aberrations. Grasping, clutching, pulsating homunculi. Too weak in faculties even to beg for their own deaths. Few were those that could overcome this doom. One developer alone refused to surrender. Combining moody graphics with responsive controls and fiendish challenge, Sunsoft's Batman the Video Game is a triumph of the game maker's craft. The Batman of Batman the Video Game moves with an ease and grace even the light dancers of Bells and I would envy as he jumps from wall to wall in proud defiance of nature's laws. Yet, Batman the Video Game Falters. Generic enemies and ambiguous backgrounds reveal Batman the video game as a feeble simulacrum of the moving picture. With Sunsoft's noted colorful cutscenes, the only definitive link. One might even suspect it was not originally conceived of as a Batman game at all. But, were Sunsoft to combine the graphics, challenge, control, and cinematic presentation of Batman the Video Game with a project that ensnared a film's very soul, then they can be said to have at last bridged the divide between the two media and created the perfect transmutation. Less than one year after Batman the video game, Sunsoft would achieve the impossible with their greatest creation, Gremlins 2, the new Bat... I thought I ordered that each box must be careful. What? Well, it was implied! Abandoning the traditional side-scrolling gameplay of Batman the Video Game for a more godlike overhead perspective, Gremlins 2, the new batch of the video game, excels in both graphics and gameplay. The colorful cinematics return, but in addition, each level is now overflowing with authentic details from the moving picture. Players take control of Gizmo the Mogwai and explore the same clash of ideologies that drives the moving picture. Gizmo's quest to annihilate his passions and become a more potent instrument of war pitted against the hedonistic self-indulgence of Mohawk, his spawn. Gizmo must use all of his patience, his skill, and his superior intellect to crush the unhinged fervor of his adversary. <gasps> Fortunately, Gizmo does not face the challenge unready. At the conclusion of each stage, he is gifted with a new and more powerful weapon. His arsenal grows from the impotent tomato to the razor-sharp paperclip until at last he obtains a bow of fire. Hotter even than the forges of Mount Azure Furthermore, 
Once each stage, Gizmo may visit the store of his ascended mortal master, Mr. Wing, and choose to purchase an item to aid him on his quest. Will he elect to suffer death, but live anew with the Gizmo doll, or soar like the winged serpents of Kalmadoc above the game's many abyssal pits with the mighty balloon? The choices are Gizmo's alone to make. The consequences are Gizmo's alone to suffer. After journeying through five stages, including air ducts, a television studio, and the office of Daniel Clamp himself, Gizmo faces his final challenge in the heart of the Clamp Tower, where flame mingles with cloud and no danger is spared. Should Gizmo survive this gauntlet, he will face Mohawk one final time in the guise of a malformed spider, as ill-suited to his new form as so many moving pictures to the 8-bit prison of the Nintendo game cartridge. It is here, armed with all consuming fire, that Gizmo must learn his greatest lesson, that to survive war, one must become war. There can be no victory through love, through friendship, through compassion, they must be burned away as Gizmo burns away Mohawk as his fire burns through all the gremlins until his foes are ash before him. Gizmo's soul is potent indeed, but so many take after Mohawk, clinging like locust shells to the cheap pleasures of mortal life. It matters not. All souls are of use to me, even yours. What? It was a perfect ending. Yours. What? I do not solicit souls. I consume them. Your. Really? We're down by that many. So be it. If you enjoyed this video review of Gremlins 2, the new batch, the video game, please consider... What is it? A... Got it? A subscription that I may siphon away the very essence of thy being in a process so painful you will beg for the...